Okay. This is my Seneca ID badge. And this is Mac. Mac is going to be acting as my patient for today. Okay. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm a student nurse here at this hospital. Today I'll be presenting, today I'll be performing your head to toe assessment on you today. Do I have your consent? Perfect. And before we get started, do you need to use a washroom or anything? Okay. Can you see your hand? State your name and date of birth. Mackenzie, uh, January 1st, 2000. And your last name, please? Billings. Perfect. Okay, and I will close the curtains to ensure patient privacy. Okay, so patient skin color is overall consistent with a genetic background. And there are no indications of any odors. Could you please stand up? Okay, you can sit back down. So patient's overall structure and height is consistent with his age demographic. There are no visible signs of any physical deformities. His posture is somewhat upright and proper. And no signs of any malnutrition as well. Patient's facial expression appears to be neutral. Um, he seems to be in a relaxed and pleasant mood. He is maintaining eye contact and he is properly dressed for the occasion. Um, could you state your name, where you are, and time and place, please? Mackenzie. It is 8 o'clock and I'm at the hospital. And the patient is alert and orientated to time, place, and person. Um, time, place, and person. What else? His breathing is relaxed and non-labored with no use of any tracheal tugging or accessory muscles. Okay, moving on to the facial assessment. Um, Max facial features is overall symmetrical. There are no signs of any lesions, scarring, swelling, or involuntary movements. Okay, can you please raise your brows, smile, frown, or your teeth? Hug your cheeks. Okay. And can you close your eyes nice and hard? You're gonna pry them open. Perfect. So patient's cranial nerve seven is intact and symmetrical. Okay, next we're moving on to the eyes. Look straight at me, please. Direct, consensual, direct, consensual. Okay, can you look at the tip of the pen? Perfect. So patient's cranial nerve tree is intact and symmetrical. The eyes are, um, the pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light with a pupil size of about 3 millimeters. Okay. Um, overall, he presents no signs of any lid lag, eye bulging. There is presence of blood vessels of the eyelids, but overall has a symmetrical and even distribution of eyebrows and lash hairs as well, and no discharge. Okay, looking at the ears. The ears are symmetrical, and the color is consistent with a genetic background, but no signs of any um, discharge or sermon on the external ear canal. His nose is symmetrical to his face with no signs of any discharge or dryness. No, please. And no obstruction of the nasal passageways. His mouth, his lips is pink and moisturized. Can you please open your mouth and say ah? Ah. Uh. Okay. And his soft palate rises when he says ah. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stick this in your mouth all the way back to your throat. And his gag reflex is also present. So his cranial nerve 9 and 10 is intact. Okay, can you stick out your tongue, please? Left and right. Say tight right dynamite. Tight right dynamite. Okay, so patient tongue uh, presents no signs of any deviations or physical deformities and no tremors. 
So his cranial nerve 12 is intact and symmetrical as well. Okay, looking at his neck. His neck color is consistent with a genetic background with no signs of any enlargement of the thyroid glands, no signs of any lesions, scarring, masses, or swelling. Okay. His skin is soft and warm to touch and non-tender, no enlargement of the lymph nodes or thyroid. His trachea is midline to his head and neck overall. So max carotid pulses is equal and regular bilaterally with a strength of 2 plus and presents a rate of about 73 beats per minute. Okay. Can you please look up, look down, right and left, ear to shoulders please. Perfect. Can you raise up your arms? Perfect. So Max um, cranial nerve 11 is intact and symmetrical with full range of motion of the neck and a strength of plus 5. Please roll up your sleeves. Okay, so Max upper extremities, his arm, his arm colors is consistent with his genetic backgrounds. No signs of any scars, lesions, masses, or any involuntary movements. Okay. Skin is warm to touch, soft and dry, non-tender as well, and no signs of any masses. Okay. And no signs of any joint deformities or joint inflammation. Can you please stick out your arms? Back again, flex your extend, perfect. And no crepitation of the upper arms. Please stick out your hands. Grip onto my hands. Perfect. Can you keep them up and nice straight? I'm gonna push down on them. Okay. You can relax. So max radial um, radial pulse is equal and regular bilaterally, with a strength pulse of two plus, and a rate of about seventy two beats per minute. His upper arms present at full range of motion and a strength of plus 5, including his grip. Now looking at his legs, please roll up your hands. So the color of Mac flex is consistent with a genetic background, with equal and symmetrical distribution of leg hair, no signs of any involuntary movement, lesions, masses, or any masses as well. Max legs are soft and warm to touch, non-tender, no signs of any masses as well. Okay, his joints present no signs of any inflammation or any deformities. Okay, can you flex your legs? Same thing with the legs. Okay, keep them both nice and up. Perfect. So. Max lower legs. Um, yeah, go ahead. Max lower legs um, present a full range of motion and a strength of plus five. Could you please remove your perfect? So looking at his chest, 
Um, his skin color is consistent with his genetic backgrounds. No signs of any physical deformities, any masses, lesions, or scarring. Okay. His skin is soft, warm to touch, non-tender as well, and there's no presence of any masses. Sit up nice and straight, please. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. An equal and symmetrical lung expansion on the front. Okay. When my stethoscope touches your skin, please take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Okay, so max um, max lung sounds are clear with no signs of any wheezes, rubs, spruits, or crackles as well. Okay, now look, moving on to the cardiovascular sounds. So starting at the second intercostal. The aortic, pulmonary, herbs, tricuspid. Then we have the apical on the fifth intercostal and the midclavicular line. So his pulse is regular with a rate of 75 beats per minute. And his heart doesn't present any extra heart sounds of S3 or S4. With, and he has presence of love up as well. So no extra heart sounds. Okay. Can you please sit here? Face the bed. Right. So Max's skin color is consistent with his genetic background. No signs of any scars, lesions, masses, or any involuntary movements as well. Okay. You take a deep breath in. Sorry, again. And asymmetrical lung expansion on the, on the back. Right. You say 99 when... The stethoscope touches your back, please. 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 Say E. 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 E.
for my knife. So again, um, max long sounds presents no signs of any crackles, wheezes, rubs, or bruits. His breathing is relaxed with no uses of any accessory muscles or any tracheal tugging with a rate of about 13, be 13 beats per minute. Okay. Can you please lay on the bed? Hold this please. Perfect. So now with the abdomen assessment, his skin color is consistent with his genetic background with no signs of any scars, lesions, masses, or masses. There is an equal hair distribution and overall the skin or the abdomen is slightly convex. So Mac does have high-pitched vowel sounds that is present every three seconds on all quadrants. So next, we're going to be palpating. So Mac's skin is soft and warm to touch, non-tender, with no signs of any masses. Okay. Now we're going to be assessing for his aortic pulse. Renal is iliac. Okay, so his abdomen pulses is regular and regular and equal bilaterally with a strength strength of about one plus. I would say now we're going to be assessing for light rebound deep rebound Okay, so Max abdomen does rebound almost immediately. Okay, and that will conclude it for this assessment. Thank you.